In this video, we will study solution of section E of sample question paper of class 10 for the year 24-25 of mathematics standard released by CBSC board. In the section E, there are three case study based questions of four marks each amounting to 12 marks if solved correctly. Hello friends, welcome to channel Number Collage. This channel is dedicated to videos on a wide range of mathematical concepts and problems related to them, ranging from high school math to engineering math. Effort has been made to explain the concepts through basic mathematical ideas in a simple English. Hope you will like my effort. Thank you. The glass jars are arranged one above the other in a specific pattern. On the top layer there are three jars. In the next layer there are six jars. In the third layer from the top there are nine jars. Till the eighth layer that means there are eight layers. On the basis of above situation answer the following questions. Write an AP whose terms representing the number of jars in different layers standing from top. Also find the common difference. First term A is 3. Common difference D is 6 minus 3, 3. And there are 8 layers which means N is. So the required AP will be 3, 6, 9, so and so forth. 3 8s are 24. So AP is this and common difference D 3. The AP that we have just found out is 3, 6, 9, etc. 24, etc. If there are 34 jars, the nth term will be 34. And we have to check whether the nth term 34 will be nth term of this AP or not. A n is A plus n minus 1 into D. A n is 34. First term is 3 plus n minus 1 into D 3. So 3 into n minus 1 is 31. n minus 1 is 31 upon 3 and n 31 upon 3 plus 1 34 upon 3 which is not a positive integer. Therefore it is not possible to arrange 34 jars if this pattern is continued. Third sub question. If there are n number of rows in a layer then find the expression for finding total number of jars in terms of n and hence we have to find s8. We have a equals 3, b equals 3, n equals 8. We have to find s8 which is 8 upon 2 into 2a plus n minus 1, 8 minus 1 into d 3, 4 into 6 plus 21, 4 into 27, 108. So sum of first 8 terms S8 is 108. Putting 8 equals n, we get expression in terms of n. Sn equals n by 2 into 2a where a is 3 plus n minus 1 into d which is 3. n by 2 into 6 minus 3 plus 3n. Sn will be n by 2 into 3n plus 3 or 3n by 2 into n plus 1. The shopkeeper added three jars in each row, which means the new AP now is 3 plus 3, 6, 6 plus 3, 9, 9 plus 3, 12, so and so forth. How many jars are there in the fifth layer from the top? Here A is 6, B is 9 minus 6, 3 and number of jars in fifth row that means we have to find a phi u, we have a phi u equals a which is 6 plus n minus 1 phi u minus 1 into d 3 gives 6 plus 12 18. So in the fifth row there will be 18 jars. Largest triangle is triangle ABC and smallest triangle DEF. PQ is parallel to EF and we have to show that 
ट्रायंगल डीपीक्यू सिमिलर ट्रायंगल डीईएफ इन ट्रायंगल डीईएफ पीक्यू इज पैरेलल ईएफ शोस दैट एंगल पी इज इक्वल टू एंगल ई एंड एंगल क्यू इज इक्वल टू एंगल एफ एंड दिस इज बाय करस्पोंडिंग एंगल्स देयरफॉर ट्रायंगल डीपीक्यू सिमिलर ट्रायंगल डीईएफ बाय ए ए क्राइटेरिया और ए ए टेस्ट ऑफ सिमिलरिटी we have just proved triangle dpq similar triangle def therefore ratio between the corresponding sides will be equal we can write dp upon de equals pq upon ef 50 upon 50 plus 70 equals pq upon ef which will be 50 upon 120 cancelling zero this will be 5 upon 12 Two AB equals five UDE gives AB equals five U upon two DE. Similarly, we can write BC equals five U upon two EF and AC five U upon two DF because it is given that triangle ABC is similar triangle DEF. We have to find perimeter of triangle ABC upon perimeter of triangle DEF. to be constant which will be ab plus bc plus ac upon de plus ef plus df that will be pi u upon 2 de plus ef plus df from this statement star upon de plus ef plus df cancelling we get perimeter of triangle abc upon perimeter of triangle def equals by u upon 2 a constant let us solve third sub question am and dn are medians of triangle abc and triangle def we have to prove triangle abm similar triangle den triangle abc similar triangle def therefore ab upon de equals bc upon ef BC is twice BM because AM is median. EF is twice EN because DN is median. Cancelling two, we get AD upon DE equals BM upon EN. We name this one. Moreover, since triangle ABC similar triangle DEF, angle ABM equals angle DEN. We name this two. So from one and two. triangle abm similar triangle den by sas test of similarity hence proved the metallic silo is in the shape of a cylinder mounted by a cone like drawn here dimension of the conical part of the silo its radius 1.5 here height 2 meter here dimension of the cylindrical part of the silo radius 1.5 meter and height 7 meter on the basis of this information we have to answer following questions the first sub question calculate slant height of the conical part of one silo slant height ab is l and radius of base of cone is r 1.5 meter and height of conical part is 2 meter here so we have Slant height L square equals R square plus H square 1.5 square plus 2 square 2.25 plus 4 6.25. So slant height L will be square root of 6.25 2.5 meter. In sub question two, we have to find curved surface area of the conical part of the silo. Curved surface area CSA is pi R L. Which is twenty-two upon seven into one point five into two point five, eleven point twenty-eight meter square. We have to find cost of metal sheet used to make the curved cylindrical part of one silo at the rate rupees two thousand per meter square. We first have to find curved surface area of cylinder, which is two pi r into height of cylinder h, two into twenty-two upon seven. Into one point five into seven, cancelling seven. It is sixty-six meter square 
Now the cost of metal sheet used will be rate which is 2000 per meter square multiplied by CSA 66 which is 1,32,000 rupees or third sub question B we have to find total capacity of one silo to store the grains we have to find volume of the conical part and the cylindrical part and add them together so first volume of conical part one third pi r square h one third into 22 upon 7 into 1.5 square into height of conical part 2 meter 4.71 meter cube and volume of cylindrical part pi r square h 22 upon 7 into 1.5 square into 7 meter which is 49.5 meter cube so the total capacity of the silo is 4.71 plus 49.5 54.21 meter cube friends if you like this video please like share and subscribe this channel see you in the next video until then keep watching number collage thank you